hey, hey, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Okay, we can start the vlog now. Hey, how are you? Welcome on my channel. I hope you are having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world. In today's vlog, I will tell you about the garbage on board a vessel. In case you are wondering what we are doing with the garbage, no, we are not throwing it into the ocean. That is not allowed. There are very high fines for throwing garbage in the ocean and even jail. And in this world that we are living today, there are satellites everywhere. And in, even in the middle of the ocean, they can see you if they want to. If they are tracking the ship for any reason, they can see. They can see you throwing garbage. And when you are arriving in the port, it will be a very big problem for the ship and for the company. So I will tell you what we are actually doing with the garbage. As you can see, there are many garbage types. And we use different colors for different containers to segregate. The garbage has to be segregated, separated when you are on board. Because when you are giving it to the shore, if it is not separated properly, if it's not segregated, you have to pay extra money. And nobody wants to pay extra money when you can do that on board with the crew. So, we will start with the white bin. This one, as you can see, it's for e-waste. In the white bin, we throw electronic waste this is for me the electrician here i throw bulbs fluorescent lamps and anything that is electronic and cannot be used anymore for some various reasons it's either burned or defective or whatever you can see the volume there it's written 0 0.2 cubics in the red bin, we throw the plastic garbage from plastic wraps to plastic bottles and so on. As you can see, we have more bins for the plastic than for the e-waste, for example. And uh, I will show you further in the video that uh, an extra option on board for the plastic garbage is to use a compactor if the ship is uh, having such a thing it's a special machinery that is used to shred and compact the garbage to make it smaller that way you can put more garbage in these bins as you know a bottle after you drink the liquid in it has air there is no point of putting those bottles full of full of air inside these bins you are wasting money so if the company provides the ship with a compactor you are you are supposed to use it and this ship has that equipment as i said i will show you down the line The next type of garbage is domestic waste. Here we are throwing paper, cartons and also aluminium cans like from uh, soft drinks. The waste that is 
domestic waste like paper and cartons besides the fact that can be landed ashore with a price if the ship has a working incinerator the company demands that you use that and you incinerate the garbage and that way they are saving some money but if you have an incinerator on board that is not working for, for various reasons it's either defective out of use or not properly maintained then the garbage will be segregated in the green bins paper cartons and they will be landed ashore the next type of garbage it's operation operational waste these are oily rags for example same as with the domestic waste the oily rags can be burned in a working incinerator and that way the company is saving some money and does not have to land garbage in every port because depending on the port that you get the ship with the price of landing garbage can be cheap or expensive so nobody wants to waste money for that but sometimes happens that the incinerator is not working is defective or for some other reason and you have no choice but to land that garbage but this ship has a working incinerator and there are no issues with the garbage also the crew is experienced and properly properly trained to segregate the garbage another type of garbage is the blue bin food waste this bin is used whenever we are in the port or between 0 and 12 miles from the port there you are not allowed to throw garbage in the water if you are further in the ocean it is allowed according to the IMO regulation to throw food waste in the ocean you just have to record it in the logbook with the GPS on board the ship and the quantity that you have thrown there is another type of garbage there is another type of bin which has the color gray and that is for ashes whatever remains from whatever we are burning in the incinerator that bin it is not here because we are keeping it near the incinerator and whenever it is getting full we have to land it to the shore side as I said before whenever you are landing garbage you have to pay if you are somewhere in Asia except Japan or South Korea anywhere else in Asia it's cheap but if you are in US or Europe it will be very expensive so the companies lately are trying to limit the garbage as much as possible by either demanding the crew to use the incinerator to use a compactor sometimes they can provide additional filters for the water that is on board and you can drink that water which is produced with the freshwater generator and that way they do not have to buy bottled water which has a lot of plastic waste but it all depends on the company and their policies further in the video like I promised I will show you the compactor which is in the engine room and the gray bin which is the ashes and that is it
I hope I gave you the information correctly and you are happy. If you like the video, please leave a like. It helps with the algorithm for the video to reach more people. I am sure you have some friends which are curious about the subject that we discussed here. Maybe you would like to share this video with them. If you enjoy my content on this channel, please subscribe. And I hope to see you next time with more about the seaman life and whatever we do on board here. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day. Goodbye. Thank mm -hmm. you.